Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with Hypertherm PowerMax 45 XP. So in this video today, we're going to cover um, what this, the options this unit comes with, uh, consumable setup, and then consumable kits for this unit. Mm -hmm. uh, then we're going to go over the specs on this unit as well. So let's dive right in. So I, I got my 45 XP all set up here. I got my torch, my ground. I got it plugged in. I got air hooked up to it. Um, so this, this unit is, is 31 pounds very light, uh, very portable. This does not come with a case, but I mean, it is a very robust body style. It's got some, got easy to hold on to. It's got nice grips. Um, you can see here, I'll flip it around. It's got a built-in air condensant, so it separates moisture out of the air. Hypertherm also recommends buying a additional one that mounts to the back, and we'll link that down below. So I've ran a lot of uh, Hypertherm power supplies, and I always recommend running that secondary air separator. So it pulls moisture, oil, that sort of thing out. Um, it works great. Uh, it's relatively, it's not, it's inexpensive, but it's a lot cheaper than buying a new torch, right? So you get moisture in the torch, it just wrecks them. Um, so I recommend getting that. This thing does have a CPC port, so it'll link right to a cutting table. So if down the road you buy a plasma table and you want to hook up a machine torch, it'll plug right in and talk to your computer software. So Hypertherm is very good about doing that with CPC connections and all their linking to software and that sort of thing. Um, awesome units. So on this, on this unit, it is recommended 5 8 at 20 inches a minute and then 7 8 at 10 inches a minute. So a little bit slower on thicker material. Um, it'll sever inch and an eighth, and then you can pierce half inch material. I've cut one inch with a 45 XP. It is slow, but it does it. Um, but it'll walk through five eighths, it'll walk through half inch, three eighths, quarter inch. Thing does great. It's awesome. So I'll show you on the front of the machine here. They've kind of simplified it. There is no more, you don't have to set your air pressure right. Whatever you plug into it, it automatically adjusts. So this is cut. And then when we hit the button, that's gouge. So this has a gouging option too. I don't have those consumables in, but so when you want to gouge, right, gouge out welds or just slice out something that you don't want in there, it automatically adjusts air pressure for the gouging. So we'll go back up to cut, right? We can go down 10 amps all the way up to 45 amps. Got our ground, our torch connection. Pretty simple on the whole setup on that thing. So every biggest question we get is how big a generator can I use and how much air do I need? So you need a 10,000 watt generator to run this unit. This is a 220 only, so it will not do 110. So keep that in mind. If you need 110, you need to go to the 30 XP or 30 XP air. So this will only do 220, but you need a 10,000 watt generator. As far as air, you need 400 square cubic feet per hour. So I got this hooked up to a uh, 20 gallon air compressor. It does four cubic feet per minute. It's a little underrated at, But it's still 90 psi. So we're gonna get a good cut out of it um, But just longevity or duty cycle on the air compressor is not going to keep up for what this thing needs to eat So it needs a 400 cubic feet an hour air compressor uh, the one I got is only at 240 cubic feet per hour. So it's a uh, little bit underrated, but it'll still work so as far as uh, consumables go. So we're going to jump in. I'll show you how to this this unit right here has the Duramax locking torch So in years past when you undid your consumables, right? It gave you an error code and then you had to restart on off your machine to reset the code now Just lock out the torch and pull your consumables off and change them out And I'll show you here how they go in the order. So right here is all just where everything screws on, you got a little detent there, and that tells you whether or not your consumables are all the way down. So if that isn't compressed, you'll get an error code. But I'll pop out the consumables here and I'll show you what comes with it. So we got our drag shield, retaining cap, our nozzle, our electrode, and our swirl ring. So in that order, that's how those all go. So I'm gonna put them together. So shield to our retaining cap here, put that on there. I like to drop my nozzle in, and that's a 45 amp nozzle. I like to drop my electrode in, and then I like to drop my swirl ring in. And now everything should go in there together, and then I just put it all back in the 
the unit itself. And I go till it's tight, and then I make sure that little detents compress. You can't see it, so it's below the, the body line, so you should be good to go. And I'll unlock my torch handle, and we shouldn't have an error code. Nope, we're good on the code. So that's how your consumables all go together. Now, when you purchase this unit at bakersgas.com, they offer up a PowerMax 45 XP consumable kit, 50% off with the purchase of the PowerMax 45. So awesome accessory to have. I recommend if you're buying this, buy this too, because you're getting 50% off, but you're also getting a boatload of consumables in here. So we got we got seven electrodes. I put one in the gun. We got three shields, one swirl ring, and then we have seven nozzles as well. So your biggest consumable item is going to be nozzle and then your electrode. Because you burn out, depending on how many times you pierce or you're cutting, or just what you're doing, right? These two items are gonna be burnt out. They come in five packs for a reason because you're going through these more. Now everyone asks, what is the life cycle of this consumable? I don't have a good answer for you on that because it depends on how many times you pierce cut, how long the torch runs per cut, and just a lot of factors go into play with that. So to give you a, this thing will do 100 cuts, I, I can't tell you that because some people I know, they can get 100 cuts out of one. Some people I know only get two because they goof up and they mess up the nozzle or, or something along the lines, they dip it into the molten metal. The shield, you're gonna run through some of them, but mainly those are pretty robust. And then your swirl ring, unless you have a complete meltdown, that thing probably will last quite some time. So on the kit, it gives you all the part numbers that came in there. Um, just so for reorder, so, I mean, you, it's pretty nice. Like you're gonna get, you're gonna get everything in this kit, um, and that way you can reorder everything. Comes in a nice storage container, and very, very nice. So on this, particularly on this, thing, what I love about it is just the portability factor, and the cut. Right, five eighths at 20 inch, that's pretty fast, and seven eighths, and I've cut one inch with it, it'll do it. Um, so if you do the cycle on this, so it's 50% at 45 amps on 220. So you got a 50% duty cycle, so that stands for five out of 10 minutes, I can cut with this thing conti continuously before it'll, it'll out duty cycle itself. So pretty good, unit has a three year warranty on the machine, a one year warranty on the torch. Now remember that doesn't cover uh, getting cut, dropped, broke, ran over, that sort of thing. It covers just consumable items on the inside of the torch, but that's a one year warranty. We also only carry genuine hypertherm consumables. Um, that's the only thing we sell. And we recommend you only run genuine hypertherm consumables because it will void your warranty if you run off brand consumables in your hypertherm torch. Um, so we recommend that. But Hypertherm shines against the competition because of the technology they put into these units and because of the cut performance. So the, the, the units are, are a step ahead of the competition in the fact that they, they, the technology's there, they've engineered these things to last. We've had great success with them. Anybody who buys a Hypertherm, I'm telling you that once they buy one, they're hooked for a lifetime. So, but if you got any questions on anything, please leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for some more. Thank mm -hmm. you.